This video is a quick demonstration of how Sanirik Workspace manages and generates Xilinx Scorching files for you when they are part of your design and you run an ICE flow build in Sanirik. Notice this design has a Xilinx Architecture Wizard file and a Xilinx Scorching Parameter file. The design is called Watch VHD and this is the example imported from Xilinx IC. On the right, if you look at the build configuration, you will notice that all build steps are disabled except clean design and generate course. When we expand the generate core set build step, you will notice a couple of settings. First setting add generated outputs to design, which will add them to the design, which I will show that next. But before I go to that, I'm gonna the next setting is regenerate if output exists. This option is the normal core gen option which allows you to only regenerate these items once. Alternatively, you can disable the core gen step as well in the build flow. Important to notice here is that the clean design build step won't clean your course for you. It will, if you want them to be cleaned on every run, you must make sure that you generate course build setting regenerates them if they really exist. Okay, the next thing I want to show is the files being added to your design. Because we had the, the setting to be on, these files have automatically been added to black boxes. So if you notice under black boxes, you will see the output files nicely grouped under the category with the name of the input file or the source file that they were generated from. This nicely groups your things together and allows you to easily share designs with other people and they will know where those files were generated from.